Hello there, this is Cypress207 here again with a, my third tutorial on my OpenGL Win32 C++ uh, Gain Engine. In this tutorial, we're going to start um, getting linking OpenGL to our window so we could render OpenGL uh, primitives, OpenGL stuff. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I suggest you do because they're all in chronological order, so if you haven't watched them, go watch them before you watch this one. And let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to extern two variables. One's HPC, lowercase h, and then capital BC, which is our device context. And the second one is HGLS LRC, uh, lowercase um, h, capital RC, which is our rendering context. And uh, yeah, just then add that to core engine.cpp. I already did. And uh, so basically, there are four steps when we are enabling OpenGL and linking it to our window. First step is we have to get use a get dc um, function which takes a window handle and basically the get dc is it sets the device context to the window we specify in this parameter. So that's the first thing we need to do. The second thing we need to do is we need to set up the pixel format descriptor structure similar to our uh, Windows class structure that we set up describing the Windows class. This is just going to describe the pixel format for um, OpenGL. And after that, we are going to move on to our third step, which will be using the WGL create context function to create our rendering context or HRC and oopsies. And the last step is using a simple function it takes two parameters. The function is called WGL make current and the two parameters are a device context and a rendering context. So those are the big four steps. Well, I shouldn't say big, they're pretty s simple. Um, shouldn't take too long. Those are the four steps to creating your OpenGL um, context. So let's get started. <clears throat> so now that we have our device context and rendering context variable set up, let's uh, get started with the actual code. Alright. So we're gonna make another file in our header file, or we're gonna make another class. This one's called graphics pipeline. I mean engine and add the same thing to our source uh, source file folder engine. and obviously graphics engine.cpp should have graphics engine.h and this should be linked to core engine and the class's name is going to be a set graphics engine. And we're going to have for now two variables, I mean two uh, functions. Basically, our graphics engine is going to have most of the stuff's graphic related to our um, engine. So, in this case, we're going to have a function that is going to 
enable OpenGL to our window and disable OpenGL. So the function is going to be a void and it's going to be called enable OGL API. And the second one is going to be enable OGL, I mean disable, sorry. Disable OGL API. That's it. So now we're just going to work on those two functions. So I said graphics engine, double colon, enable OGL API. And this is the function where we're going to use our four steps. So, like I said, first step get device context for the window. And we're, so we're going to set our device context to get DC, uh, our window handle, which is, as said, HNWD, step one, complete, pretty simple, right? Step two, probably the longest one, we want to set up our pixel format, the scripter, structure, PFD, and the size is the first one, it's going to be the size of pixel format descriptor. Second one's going to be the version, which is always one. Third one is going to be, let's say, pixel type, which is PFD um, RGBA. I forget, um, I think it's plain. We'll skip that. I'm just trying to think of what it was. We'll skip that for now. Move on to player type, which is PFD main plane. Set the flags. So flags is PFD support OpenGL obviously or PFD draw to window and last one is PFD double buffer now let's see depth bits 32 and color bits 24 See if we missed anything, just double checking. Nope, no. Pixel type should be PFD RGBA. Just trying to think. I know there's something in between. Um, you know what? Gonna open. Just gonna quickly research it. Just gonna. There we go. It's exactly what we need. Double buffer. Let's see. Type RGBA. There we go. So type RGBA, and that's it for step. Actually, no wait. We still got a bit chance for step two. And sorry, we have to create an integer. I forgot format. So almost done the pixel format descriptor. We're just going to use a function called choose pixel format. It's asking for device context and a constant pixel format. So ampersand PFD and then set set sorry pixel format equals so we have to set that integer to that and set pixel format format device context pixel format asking for an integer format and PFD. There. I'm just gonna make 
an error message actually. So if can't set it, put the user no message box. Error cannot set pixel format. Okay button. Oh my god. And turn two. Actually it's a void, so leave that alone. And now second step done. Now third step we have to create our uh, rendering context, so HRC equals WG, WGL create context and our device context and step three done. Step four WGL make current HTC HRC and we are done that part. So our enable OpenGL is finished. Now we have to make our disable OpenGL, which is three lines of code, pretty simple. Just so we close up, close when the window closes, OpenGL gets removed properly. So WGL make current. We're just gonna set it to null and WGL delete context and the rendering context delete that now release DC and our window handle and device context and actually again I'm gonna make an error message just to let the user know message box GLED. error <coughs> cannot release device context error <coughs> ok button and that's done so Got that done pretty quick, so now we just need to enable it. And how are we gonna do that? Well, we are going to go in our window.cpp and we need to make a pointer. And you wanna basically what you wanna do is you wanna only enable OpenGL after all windows are created. So if you have more than one window, you have to put it after the last windows um, made. But for this project, we only have one window, so we're just gonna place it here after the window gets created. So we make the pointer asset graphics engine graphics equals null. And graphics. Ooh. Oh, boosties forgot to include the header file. Graphics. Enable OpenGL. And go on our main.cpp. Then include the graphics and make the pointer. Engine. And make it a G engine equals null and G engine disable. So in WM destroy, we're going to call the disable OpenGL. So when the window is destroyed, we're going to destroy OpenGL with it. And now our game loop. Oopsies. Sort of had that. I was quickly going through uh, going through this before I made this tutorial. So since this video is almost 15 minutes long, I'm just gonna 
type in three lines that will tell you if OpenGL is running or not. But in the future, we're just going to have a function called here. So this is, keep in mind, this is in our loop. So this is the quit message and else. So it is right here. So if the window is still running, I'm going to call gel clear and gel clear color buffer bit. And we're going to have to have another one gel depth buffer bit. So have that. I'm going to set. background color to black so we had a gray window before and if your window is black then it's working basically the GL clear color is to set the background and it takes use the R GBA red green blue alpha parameter so we're gonna have zero on all of them so it's black and the last thing the very the most important thing is we need to have swap buffers and then our device context without this line right here nothing will render nothing will work OpenGL will not work unless you have this because we have double buffer enabled in our uh, pixel format descriptor so we're just gonna run it As you can see, we have a black window. And close it. Oh, cannot. So let's just check. I'm pretty sure if so. If you've got to put an exclamation mark, that means it was released. This means if it isn't released. It's my bad. Double check it. And this video will be over. So yeah, like I said, um, there you go, it's working, no error message, so it closed properly. And like I said, this is going to be all in a function along with a bunch of other code, which I'll most likely cover in the next tutorial. Um, so for now, if you have any questions, message me, comment, comment on my video, subscribe please, um, and enjoy. Snipers227, I'm out.